I am making these tutorials about Tin 2 because it really deserves your attention. I just made a tutorial about how to, well, to change basically your menu. So in, in Tin 2 or Tin 2 GUI, I always prefer to go to this one. You just select, uh, say, okay, I want to have, I want to look at this one for the rest of the week, and okay, yes. And now we have a different kind of panel that's down here, or we follow a arc theme that comes in and we say let's keep everything also red and everything is then red so it's up to the wallpaper often which uh, panel we also choose so the colors uh, match and we have lots of colors as you can see one of them will match now this tutorial is about hey let's make a new one let's be creative let's see what we can do with these, uh, with these settings there's lots of settings that we've seen in the other uh, tutorial now we could, well, what I suggest is the following. You say, I would like to have this, but, and then you start changing. So something that you say, okay, I feel comfortable with this or that look. And then um, we start changing some elements. Let's say we take this one. You see, it's a bit strange. It's an idea to have no borders, just floating around these blocks up there. But you say well maybe we should do something and okay and there you go so you double click this and we have lots of lots of proper properties i'm going to move that to the second screen i'm going to make this a little bit bigger so let's get cracking like they say let's be creative so we have gradients uh, gradient is a thing i never use but you can set it to um, well to add it and etc so i'm leaving this one alone and i'm going to go for the backgrounds we have different colors so here you set colors just that and okay there are names behind it but basically you say i want to have this or that kind of color okay the fill color the tint the border color border tint gradient so if you make gradient you can put it in here you can have a choice fill color mouse over mm -hmm. need to have some ideas that's that's first thing right we can center this but okay it's already centered in the sense that when it's 100 percent it's it's centered of course but it's top or bottom for instance apply so now it's at the bottom but let's keep it at the top i was happy when it was on the top we can have a compact version if you say well why not why not yeah, keep it like this and then we could have a look so the background active desktop and so on let's see what happens if I change this okay so that's the background so that's how I work just click one thing apply check huh. now this is more white so this active task panel has been defined in here active task panel and I say Hmm, I would like to have it uh, with another color, fill color. Let's make it obvious, uh, make it more red. Apply. Oh yeah, okay, fine. No, maybe not. So we should get back. I don't think we have a control Z here. We do not have a control Z. So uh, hmm, we have lost our colors. So more or less this, I guess. So next time, copy paste first. Border colors. I want the border color, not the gradient fill color. Mouse over uh, border color gradient border width. How about a slighter, thicker border width? Let's have a other wallpaper. Okay, that's uh, the border width. That's clear, and that's the fun of it. It's all just click and point and apply and a corner radius. Was this apply? All right, nice. Okay. And so at some point in time you say this looks good and you start changing the size of the panel 38 maybe you would like it to have be smaller okay compactor depends on your screen how much do you want to sacrifice of your screen for for, for a panel maybe a very small panel Total depends I'm gonna change back to dark what happens then? Mm -hmm. And if we have this, of course, the padding between elements. Let's exaggerate. Well, that's a lot of exaggeration. But here is what we call the padding. 
the padding so horizontal padding is this thing here and that thing there and nothing in between it's not, not about that well again uh, remember the numbers before you change Eric <laughs> vertical padding so vertical is that way the spacing between things maybe it's this one I think that's indeed the blocks in between here all right another another color here again something like this well you see it right okay a little bit difficult to see <laughs> let's keep this one so um, the spacing all right too much it was seven or I think it was seven ply but maybe you like it you know it's, it's just about uh, choices that's all it is how to hide or not ply okay panel items that's on these elements that are in here so this is the task bar system tray stuff and the clock and other things you could add not really only the battery i think for uh, laptops distribute space i was also experimenting with that one so that's also a neat trick to be more compact maybe you like that as well again the colors you can change so these are the task bars so this is those little elements uh, wait what am I saying task bar let's change let me see okay that's right so this is the task bar active background and if we change it to this one again that's nicer okay so that's easy you don't need to know the names just click apply and check and you see here maybe you don't but it's one two three four it says it's kind of ugly so it goes away again and on the buttons themselves what happens when you left click right click scroll up scroll down all these effects we have here that's uh, wheel scroll up toggle middle click is uh, well I don't use it but it could be close and right click maybe could be close so if I click here right click then hit oh apply Eric and then right click then it's closed so it's so strong there are so many settings in there uh, but it's up to you to see what you like and you have here the text but you need to give it more width if you want to see text so apply well even more pro proper things okay max let's go for another 50 more or less voila so if you like that kind of look be my guest it's all okay for me so was wondering if we have here the straight lines in black we should maybe or or we go we make these guys the same look as that one or we make that one the same look as the other one or, or we keep this it's all good it's um, just a choice of so font colors opacity lots of elements then the launchers which I do not use because I use the wrong icons so you can really put a application let's take a render put it there apply and it's gonna be somewhere if I have activated it or something should I tell him to show it somewhere mm -hmm. okay now I recall we have to tell in the panel items what it should be in there and the launcher is not in there obviously um, well because I don't want it to be in there but let's do this and then we have this icon up here you see you can add applications so I just click on it and then you have this application available so sort of like plank the thing that's that's popping up uh, in here so this one that's plank and um, this could be a similar kind of tool but like I said it's our option because it does not follow our icon theme and that's of course too bad so I hope the, the guys fix that at the tint too um, so that's out the launcher should be out as well and then we're back to clock 
Um, right, so clock is, well, let's take a, an even better. Okay, this is a new wallpaper. So this is the clock, we have a background there and we can change these things as well. So if we would go to active task all the way, that's a possibility, eh? we we'll say, okay, active task, active task, and the system tray as well, to active task, and, and everything is now the same look. Do we like that look? That's something else. It's uh, very minimal anyway. It's a very, very, uh, voila, and a nice wallpaper. Now this one property should have as well, this kind of uh, look. Then we should go to, is it the task buttons or is it the task bar? Let's see. Apply, and there we go. Oh, it's, it's not bad. Eh? It's, I mean, it's just the choice. It's very minimal. It's very. Is any way you see fit, really? Oh, look at that. So if you go from um, desktop to desktop, there is this different color. So we have to investigate a little bit further. Inactive background. Maybe we should put that one as well. So when we go to other screens, uh, it's better. There is a difference here that we should take a look at. This line here is different for the first one when it's minimized and when it's open. So, of course, there will be things to figure out, but I just want to point to you, uh, to tell you, this is an awesome tool. <laughs> Go check it out. And let's now save it. Let's, let's assume this is okay. Color fixes uh, on my own, see what it is. But let's assume this is okay. All right, what do you do? I oh, have this little thing here that's still there. Uh, maybe that's the issue. Anyway, right mouse click, file manager. In your control H dot config, tin2, 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 here. So we've done a lot of work, all this can go. This is one from the other tutorial. So these are all backups. This is my last thing. So every time you apply, you get this backup, which is okay, eh? right? But this is the real thing that we see here. Control C, Control V. We can always take a look as well, also interesting. So everything that we changed, the GUI, is putting everything inside the text. That's, that's typically Linux. Everything is can be done in a text format, can be done in a terminal, but a GUI is in this case very neat. So we need to rename this thing, we, have, we need to give it a name. Uh, how about uh, minimal or something? So I'm gonna add it to the package, you will get it too. I'm gonna fix this little thing up there, and then you'll have it. So we have to actually name it. I'm gonna show you why. I'm navigating to my other screen, of my other screen, and we have here this. So what we do when we install a package, we're going to install it in user share tin2, and we give it a name, Arco Linux, and then a name, dot tin2rc. That's what I needed to know. So I have to name it Arco Linux dash. <sighs> Minimal white, how about that? Minimal white. And then dot tint to rc. So you can give us these or your files as well. If you say, "Hey, I've made a beautiful uh, tint two panel. Here it is. I shared it with you guys. You can we can put it in in the packages, and everybody is enjoying it." All right. Have fun creating new things on OpenBox. Cheers.